Welcome to the course networking environment videos. In this particular video, I want to show you the ePortfolio in more details. The ePortfolio is a personal page, it's a profile page that you can keep forever, even after your courses are done. It's a profile page like a LinkedIn page, but with more features than LinkedIn page. So you see that you have a banner here, a cover page. You can change it just by clicking here. You can also add a picture just by clicking on the little camera here. Every section can be edited just by clicking on the edit button. So here, for instance, the section about is just a general presentation of yourself. And you see that by clicking on edit, you can edit all the content. You can also add a short video. With your webcam, you can record yourself and add a little presentation. You can upload your resume, transcripts of your courses, of your training. I can go a bit down and my expertise. Here, you can describe what you are good at. And uh, it shows your expertise to your customers, to your colleagues, to your teachers, to your trainers, to your students, etc. Recommendations are published by your colleagues, by your teachers, by your trainers, etc. And it's a way to endorse you and to endorse your skills. Another way to endorse your skills is the badges, the badges that you earn through your activities on the sea. And here, for instance, I have two badges of best participant in two courses. This section is the, my resume and several documents. So here, for instance, my resume in French, some information on the CN, some information on a previous MOOC we have done, and some certificate I earned for blended learning, for instance. My skills and my interest. And you see that some skills have an icon in the shape of a little document in front, like blended learning solution, for instance. If I click on this icon, the portfolio will show, will display uh, the evidence for that skill. So here I have two certification in uh, blended learning. So that means this is an evidence for the skills I claim in the section I just showed you. Publication. If you have published a book or articles or something, you can also put it here. Here are the showcases. Showcases is a section that you can uh, freely personalize and add some particular experiences, some publications, some projects you have been doing. Like here, for instance, I put my conferences. If I click on the picture, it will bring me to the section and you see that each time you have this little pencil that shows that you can edit that section. Courses is the courses I took and the courses I teach. My CN post is a collection of uh, all the posts I've been publishing on the CN. And it displays the latest, but I can also see all the others by clicking on this button. And here, in this final section, I can see all the social engagement I have on the CN network. So the people I exchange with and the kind of exchanges I have with those people. Let's have a look on this menu because maybe you noticed that the sections don't appear on your portfolio like they appear on mine. Actually, with this link, sort section, you can move the sections and display your portfolio in the order you wish and not only in the order by default. Let's go back to this menu. With this menu, I can go directly to any section. So if I want to go directly to CV and document, I can do it. Let's close this menu for the time being. And let's go back to this part. So here I have privacy settings. Actually, this page, this profile page can be found by search engines or can be found by other people on the CN or out of the CN. You can click here on privacy setting. You can click here to make your CN ePortfolio invisible to non-members. You can also make it invisible for search engines and so on. So let's have a look. If I go to Google and I type my name, you see that here somewhere I have a link, Marco Bertolini Course Networking. If I click on it, MB705 is my user name. And you see that actually my portfolio can be found through Google. If you don't want that, just click in privacy settings to make sure people cannot view your ePortfolio. Thank you for your attention.